American court in particular. The High Commissioner raises serious concerns about the ongoing human rights violations in Myanmar's Rakhine state uh, after the violence that took place between Buddhist and Muslim communities there. And she's urging a prompt and independent investigation. We've received uh, reports, varying reports from independent sources, alleging discriminatory and arbitrary responses by the security forces um, during the events back in, in the end of May, early June. Um, and reports indicate that the initial swift response of the authorities to the communal violence may have turned into a crackdown targeting Muslims, in particular members of the Rohingya community. Some displaced Muslims tell UNHCR staff they would also like to go home to resume work, but fear for their safety. Movements are restricted in Sitwe, preventing IDPs and host families from earning a living as laborers, tree show drivers, and market sellers. Fishermen cannot reach the lagoon, and the nearby waters are too rough for fishing. Some say they are running out of money and food. The sick have now travel, uh, have to travel long distances to access health care uh, in the IDP camps, and the pregnant women are also facing problems reaching hospitals. An estimated 80,000 people are displaced in and around the towns of Sitwe and Mungdao, according to our estimates. Most of them are living in camps for internally displaced people, with smaller numbers staying with the host families in the surrounding villages. 